Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served up on today. I'm Intuitive Empress. This is a general. What's the situation? What's the sitch message for all signs? So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting, don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke up on the bone. To my subscribers, thank you for your love and support. Happy New Year. It is another year. It's another year to be your awesome, fabulous self and to do what your life purpose is. It is not over. Coming into this message, um... There was an old song that came to me um, from the Five Heartbeats. Um, haven't finished yet. And I heard, it ain't over, sure ain't over. We haven't finished, haven't finished yet. So you haven't finished. It may seem like things have finished for you, but it hasn't. All right, so for those who are new and returning and haven't subscribed, please take the time to subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing, and it helps the channel out a great deal. If you like how I read, you like my vibe, please like this video. Share it out to somebody. It may help them. I hear the part of the song was like, we'll show the world what it takes. And my voice is like <laughs> messed up right now. But it's like, can't let go. Oh, no. Oh, no matter how hard it gets, we haven't finished yet. There's so much of life to live. We've got so much to do. No matter how hard we try, we just can't say goodbye. Don't leave me with regrets, cause we haven't finished yet. And I feel like for a lot of you, you have not finished what you were meant to be here for. All right. This could be in a case of love. This could be in a case of life as a whole. All right. Um, dating myself and aging myself. That was actually my graduation song <laughs> from high school. Um, in the 90s, um, it was a popular song. The Five Heartbeats, um, I think, came out that year. Um, so you haven't finished yet. It's not over. It's not. I, I don't know who that's for. I feel like a lot of you have been trying hard at things and haven't gotten any return or seeming like you haven't gotten any return on your investments, but it's not over yet. It's not. Okay. Um, please take the time to like and comment on the video if you like this message. We have some unconditional love. That's what came out as the first card. It was genuine. It was certain love, all right, that you had for somebody. Now, I'm not sure how this worked out, all right? I feel like you had um, a journal. You were keeping notes, whether it was mental, whether it was spiritual. Um, I feel like God was taking notes on what you were um, doing on what you put out and it did take he did take notice of that okay 
So let's see what else we have here. We have some cycles that are over, some lessons that were learned in this past year or a few years. I do feel like that God intervened and rescued you from some situations, all right, that had to do with love, that had to do with life. I feel like you've gotten some realization, some spiritual awareness, finding out some things, some things came to light of people who were true for you, people who were there for you. Um, you could have had some childish people or people who saw you as childish because maybe you have a playful nature. Hmm. Put this down here. Maybe you have a child, uh, a child or children. We, I also see that there were people, these could have been other people taking notes of you searching online, looking up some things. You could have been researching some things for your life, for your um, business. You might have a social media platform for some of you. You definitely had some third parties intervening in your situation when it came to love, when it came to life. People who were just low vibrational. Um, I feel like many of you have learned some karmic lessons regarding a divine masculine, or you could have been the divine masculine learning the karmic lessons. All right. You had people who were gossiping about you or currently gossiping about you in the present. These are the same people who may have uh, cheated on you. Um, been unfaithful to you. Unfaithfulness is not just in love. You just didn't have people who were loyal friends, but now they're searching you out or it's going to come a point where they are going to be searching you out in hot pursuit because you may very well have what they're looking for. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person... That's in hot pursuit of you may have a lot of lust, a lust demon on them. They might be coming out to um, start a romantic situation with you, someone who had um, a history with you, someone you had a past with. They may be begging you for another opportunity because they're reminiscing on how true your love was, how truly unconditional your love was here. All right. This is someone who um, was afraid of commitment being tied down, or this is someone who may have been trying to tie you down. This is someone that um, uh, reaches out to you telepathically through dreams, through visions, through songs. All right. Um, wow. This could be a soulmate. Um, I feel like for some of you, this the song we haven't finished yet um, was about a lover, about a soulmate who's coming back around. So you have to use your intuition to find out if this person is genuine, is really for you, or if they're just coming for another round of lust. That's what I said, don't leave me with regret, because we haven't finished yet. This person feels like you're not fin that they're not finished with you, that you have not finished. This is someone that you may be avoiding, or someone who avoided you from the in the past. All right? But for now, they're tuned in to you. They're tuned in to you. Maybe because they feel like that you had money. This person left you sad, broken, and feeling alone. Or this might be what this person feels. But there is happiness and joy coming. I feel like overall you are happy. Uh, this person is going to be coming in to have a conversation with you, though. They're wishing and hoping and praying that they can get your love back. That you still love them. Even though they disregarded you. They 
treated you like trash. They ghosted you. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. So they ghosted you. They left you hanging. Hmm. I feel like this, again, not just love, because love, unconditional love can be for a child, a friend, family members. I feel like a lot of people are going to be pursuing you in this season. People who didn't take you seriously in the past. If you like this video so far, let me know. By sending a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting in the comment section. Hmm. I feel like for some of you, this is someone that you had um, something... Um, something to do a spiritual thing someone that was supposed to you were supposed to walk out your life purpose with i feel like this person thought that they could do what they wanted to do because they knew um that you were their person so they thought you would always be there even if it's a family situation they just felt like oh well we'll fam we're family so you have to deal with me yeah we have karmic family coming out um so we have family members who just thought that you were always going to be there um because you were family um i'm trying to get this camera to they just thought that you were going to be there they just thought you were always going to be there um they thought because you were sweet because you were loving that you were going to keep dealing with them. They feel attracted to you uh, magnetically. These are people who had a big ego. All right. I feel like many people's egos are bruised because they were arrogant enough to think that you would be always there. But nothing is promised. Tomorrow is not promised. The next second is not promised. But people were so arrogant and seeing things in their way. This could be an Aries or you could be an Aries. We had someone who was giving mixed signals to you. It was never a clear yes or no. This is whoever this person is or these people are. These are people who want your attention but then once they get it they pull away leaving you with questions leaving you with part of the information missing pieces some of you have been seeking to row to get answers or this person or people could have sought out a tarot reader to get a reading done after they started to experience karma, you could have be you could be coming to tarot readings to get answers. Hmm. I feel like for some of them they're coming because in the other one we saw a hamster wheel. They're coming because they got a tarot reading and saw that you were about to get money for some of you this person is coming because of lust and that came out before in the other deck that someone is desiring you all right they feel a sexual chemistry someone you feel a sexual chemistry with possibly a virgo all right if you are dealing with a virgo or aries the virgo and aries Reading is out. If you are Virgo or Aries, you might want to check that out. Um, we have the regular read for December, and we also have the um, 
twin flame reading that came out right before the new year. Um, I will be doing the zodiac signs um, in this week coming up. So you might want to check that out. Hit that bell notification so you're notified when it comes out. We have um, someone who was gossiping about you. The same person who was trying to keep you in a mental prison. Um, trying to have that control over you. Wanting you to be stuck and committed to them. Wow, that's interesting. Hence, the, it's not over. Like, I feel like these people are very arrogant in the fact and prideful where it's like it's not over until I say it's over kind of situation. So we have that you are the type of person that you keep it real, even when people around you are fake. Hmm. Right now, you're in the energy of cutting off people who are petty because you don't have time for the pettiness. Because you are finding a new path in life, all right? You're looking and seeking for that harmony and balance in your life. You are realizing that no matter who it is, emotional man manipulation is abuse as well as physical or mental, all right? Many of you had dealt with people who like to kick you when you were down. But the lies that they have spun are beginning to be revealed. And you are just being your lovely self. You are awesome. And in your awesomeness, you're smiling from your soul and laughing from your heart. Hmm. Hmm. Many of you are at the point where you are standing tall, standing in your power, and you refuse to be mistreated or feel sorry for yourself. Okay? You have been through some, some things, but it's not over for you. You haven't finished. This is not the end of your story, but it may be the end of other people's stories in your life. I feel like you're uh, moving on to a new chapter in your life. Hmm. I feel like many of you are not keeping company with miserable people. Misery loves company. You have... You need to be careful. Use your discernment of people coming into your life or even people that are surrounding you right now because someone close to you is planning your demise and your downfall. Okay. That's why we had the karmic family come out. You have to even watch them. You are gaining wisdom. You honor the truth of things. People depend on you and we're depending on you because you were the peacemaker. You were the one that restored friendships and honored different viewpoints. You were slow to anger. And so people took that um, and misused it. You had a lot of self-control. All right. We have the scripture being slow to anger is better than 
being strong with self-control, you can take a city. And so you have self-control, you have power, patience and meekness is not weakness, it's strength under control. So you have self-control and many people around you do not have that. All right. You have reverence the most high and his blessings will be on your food and water. He will take away your sickness. Exodus 23 and 25. So if you are sick or you um, have been sick in the past, you are experiencing healing. Um, God is blessing you because you reverence him. All right. And if you are sick and you have not been reverencing him, reverence him because you have the healing that's coming in for you. I feel like for some of you, um, these people who are around you that are planning your demise do not reverence God. They don't reverence the God that's in you. And they're going to pay the price for that. All right. So that is the reading that we have for you, the message that we have for you on today from the Most High. If this message resonated with you, if this is your situation, your story, let me know by liking this video. Comment in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye.